Welcome to Dice Station Zebra. This is Heroclix Secret Identities. My name is Rob. And I'm Jocelyn. And we are playing with the Spider Man Venom Maximum Carnage set. Is that how it's, is that how it's called, Sp Jocelyn? Spider Man and Venom Maximum Carnage? That's it. That's exactly There's it. There's a lot of letters. <laughs> There's a lot of words. And in this, in this uh, set, there is a mechanic called Secret Identity. Ooh. And what that means is. Um, if you have one of these guys, you like, know, in their normal form, like Peter Parker, like Peter Parker, um, he obviously turns into a guy named Spider-Man. You may have heard of him. Uh, never. Um, so <laughs> never, never heard of him. No. And so basically what we thought is let's have a game where we start off with the secret identity, you know, version of the characters. Um, and then when they get so according to the mechanic when they get KO'd you can bring in their alternate on a so special they're, click value they're, right they're, they, you bring in their special um, uh, their costumed version of the character so in Peter Parker's case that's going to be Spider-Man yep still never heard of him but so we'll find out who he is so can bring in this Spider-Man because he has the secret identity word on the top of his card that's right up in the top right and you bring his it, yeah. set number and his secret identity dial is the second dial there that starts on click nine. Yep, starts on click nine. So they all start on click nine. So how it works is um, when the character would be KO'd, you replace them with the secret identity character with the listed name on click number nine. So on each, on each card, so Norman Osborne, for example, oops, as I knock over this guy, um, has secret identity, and it says Green Goblin, Iron Patriot, and Red Goblin. So I can bring in one of those three characters if Norman Osborn gets KO'd. Yeah. And the characters are all like that. Um, so what we've done is, because they're very low-cost characters, some of them are 35 points, some of them are 15, um, we doubled up. So I'm using... I'm, I'm playing the villains. So I'm using two Eddie Brocks. I'm using two Daniel Burkharts, two Aaron Davises, only one Jason Massendale, and one Norman Osborn. Now, Aaron Davis can turn into two different things, Iron Spider and Prowler. So I'm using two of them, so I can, I'm can i going to bring in each guy if, they, if he gets KO'd. Same with Eddie Brock, he can turn into Toxin or Venom. Uh, Daniel Burkhart can turn into Jack-O-Lantern or Mysterio. And uh, Jason Mastendale can be Demogoblin, Hobgoblin, Jack-O-Lantern. Norman Osborn can be Green Goblin, Iron Patriot, or Red Goblin. So we'll see. Okay. When they get KO'd, who knows who I'll bring in, but we'll see. And over on your side... On my side, I'm playing the Masters. Okay. Because they're all wearing green jackets. Right. So if you know golf, then you get that joke. Um, so we have Harry Osborn. Yep. Harry Osborn can turn into American Sun or Green Goblin. Yep. And I have two of him. I have Flash Thompson. He can turn into Agent Venom or Agent Anti-Venom. Mm -hmm. um, Peter Parker can turn into Spider-Man. Never heard of him. Uh, Mary Jane Watson yep. can turn into either Iron Man, She Venom, or Marvella. We don't have a Marvella, so right. it'll just be one of the other two. And then Gwen Stacy can turn into Ghost Spider. Right. Um, additionally, uh, we made these teams up to Rob's point. We didn't have a, like a lot of points. Yeah. So we're running at two forty-five. We're going to round up to three actions. Yep. Um, now, Mary Jane Watson can generate the paparazzi. Mm -hmm. And then to get to 245, I added in the dimensional watch, which adds a phasing teleport. And if this when this character hits an opposing character, if no character has been placed this turn, after resolution, you will a d6. And on a 3 to a 6, you can place another friendly character with a Spider-Man family keyword adjacent. Okay. Um, I do have theme. Right. They are all Spider-Man family. I do not have theme. Um, so that is that. And big thanks to TJ for letting us know that uh, even if I pay for an object, I can still only have three on my force. So That's correct. I have two other objects to bring in. Yep. And I'm going to use three objects. And also, seeing as we're thanking viewers, thank you to viewer Brent for letting us know that Breakaway only requires one die roll and you apply it all to all the characters that are adjacent. Yeah, so we've been playing that wrong for ages. We have, and we talked about it. We're not sure why we were doing it that way. We think maybe somebody, you know, when we were playing at the store, showed us that that's how it works. Yeah. Regardless, that's how it now works, and thanks for letting us know, Brent. Yeah. 
So, um, so yeah, so basically our goal here is to go forward and bring out the secret identities. Yep. Um, so I have theme, which gives me a plus three. Yep. Um, and the other thing we need to mention is that all of these characters are autonomous. Yes, very important. So even though we have three actions, when you have a character who's autonomous, their action total does not count towards your action total. Right. Your actions don't count towards your action total. So you could act, I could actually move all eight of these people. That's right. And not use a single costed power action. That's right. So that's uh, interesting. And we are playing with the new rules yep. as of the Wonder Woman set from 2021. Yep. So we can basically put two tokens on each character without taking pushing damage. Yep. And so I have a couple of people with willpower, so that will come awesome. into play. So. Sounds good. Okay, so I'm a plus three. Okay, I am not. Six. I got an 11. All right. So I guess I go first. You go first. Okay. Well, how about we get set up then? Let's do it. All right. We'll be right back with our setup game. Okay. We're back and we are set up and we're ready to go. And I won the dice roll. So I'm going to set up. So I will set up my force like this. I've got Aaron Davis, Daniel Burkhart. I'm going to repeat the motif over on this side with their friend Norman Osborne. Actually, I'm going to maybe move that to the side because I'm going to put Jason Massendale and two Eddie Brocks here. Okay. And I am set up ready to go. All right. So I am going to put Norman Osborne or Harry Osborne here. And then I'm going to put Gwen Stacy here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put Mary Jane um, right next to her. We're going to put Flash Thompson over here. And then we've got Peter Parker. And Peter Parker is going to go right here. All right. And that is me. Okay, and I'm going to place some objects. Okay. So I'm placing my objects, and uh, let's put the one there, and over to you for objects. Okay, so I'm going to place... Oh wait, how they have to be a certain number away from the starting Regular area. ones are fine. Regular ones Only are fine? special ones have to be five squares away. So the is the dimensional watch special? Yes. Um, so I'm going to place an object here, Yeah. and I'm going to place an object Oops. here. And then the dimensional watch has to be at least five squares away. Oh, our camera cut out for a sec, but there we go. We got it back. Okay. Um, I actually didn't decide who I want to pick up the dimensional watch. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. We'll put it here. Okay. Okay. So it is turned to you. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start. I have a ton of characters, and as we said, they're all autonomous. So everyone gets to move. Yep. Because it's not counting toward my action total. That is correct. Which is rather insane. But let's give it a shot. So, um, Jason Massendale, he's got a move of seven, and also he's got sidestep. So he's going to move one, two, three four, five, six, seven. I'm going to sidestep two. Okay. Put a token on him. And let's see. Eddie Brock can move eight. He can also sidestep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sidestep two to here. You sure you want to do that? Um, why? Why not? Because Jason Massendale has a ranged attack and you just blocked it with Eddie Brock. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yep, I'm okay with that. And we got another Eddie Brock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I will just sidestep maybe to here. Okay. So the gang's all there. And here we go. Let's keep going because everyone's autonomous. So um, Aaron Davis. He moves eight. Burkhart moves six. Uh, let's move one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
I think that works. So we're going to pick up this object. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So Burkhart has that object. He's hanging out over here. Aaron Davis, he can move eight. He's going to pick up that object. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they have, he has stealth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Mr. Osborne can move seven. So what can I get him? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to put him right in the center there of those two guys. And over here, Aaron Davis will move his eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight into hindering. Mm -hmm. Burkhart can move six. He's going to pick up the object. One, two, three, four, five, and let's go six right there. Okay. And that's my turn. All right. Is there anything free you need to do? Perplexing, outwitting? I see yes, perplex on Aaron Davis. True enough. Aaron Davis. Well, he's got stealth. So how about, um, well, if you can get close enough to him to do an attack. So I guess for now he'll just perplex up his own defense. Okay. Both Aaron Davises will do that. Uh, Burkhart will also perplex up his own defense. Okay. And that's it for me. Okay. All right. Well, let's start with Harry. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. You can go six, so he's going to go here. And we're going to send this Harry, one, two, three, four, five, six, to here. Oops. Um, then we're going to have Gwen. She can go nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And she's going to pick up the dimensional watch. Right into hindering. Cool. She is holding that, but she has not done anything with it yet. All right. Um, then we've got Mary Jane. She can go seven plus sidestep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She can go right into there. Wow. All right, so now we're going to get Flash into the action. He can go 10. Now you've got a range of four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I can go nine, 10. So he's going to, this Flash is going to go here. Okay. We're taking it to the rooftops over there. Yeah. Yeah, and then this flash is going to come over as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Side step. Need more tokens. I know. Autonomous characters eat up your tokens. Yeah. Okay. Um, Peter Parker has leap climb. So yep. I don't have to worry about elevated blocking or characters. Mm -hmm. He can go nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's going to come up here. He's picking up this object. Cool. And then this one is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next to Mary Jane or next to Gwen Stacy. So you've got Peter Parker protecting both of his women. Wow. And that is going to be my turn. I do not have any perplexing to do. Okay. Um, I do have probability control on both Peter Parkers. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. And that's my turn. That is the turn. Okay. Well, I guess it's over to me now. Figure out what I'm going to do. Okay, well, let's get some uh, rangy people into position, perhaps. Can I do some ranged attacks over here? These guys can sidestep. He's got a move of, or a range of four. One, two, three, four. So if I can get to there, one, two, three, four. I'm going to do that. 
So Eddie Brock will sidestep to here. Uh, Jason Massendale also has sidestep. It was mm -hmm. traded, I believe. Let me verify. Yes, sidestep and stealth. Uh, but he has a range of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's sidestep him to there. Let's bring the other Eddie Brock in. One, two, three. I don't think he's going to be... He can't get close enough to do a ranged attack, actually. So I will just sidestep him to there. And I will make some attacks here with these guys. What? Yeah. Because we are all within, within range over here. So, starting over here, um, I have an Eddie Brock that can do one, two, three. He can do a, a ranged attack on Flash Thompson. All right. He has ranged combat expert. Okay. And I'm going to consult the new rules. It says, this character modifies attack and damage plus one while making a ranged attack. So, what's Eddie Brock's defense? So, who are you going on? Oh, sorry, Flash, Flash Thompson. Thompson. It's a 17 defense. Flash Thompson is a 17 defend. Yep. So that doesn't help with anything. Um, let's see. He has shape change traded. Oh, he does? Yes, he does. Okay. Uh, fantastic. So? So shape change? Yep. Fa failure. Okay. So Utter failure. I also have a precision strike. Okay. Um, damage from the attack can't be reduced below one. And if you have super senses, it's reduced by one. Um, I do not have super senses. So I'm going to go with 10 on your 17. Okay. It's only a 4. That is a miss. So, there we go. Uh, Jason Massendale will also target the same guy. Okay. He's got range combat expert as well. That is a, su a successful shape change. Okay, so how about... Do you have another target? I don't think I have line of sight on the other flash. I think it's cut by... Um, by that flash, so let's use a straight edge to verify. No, he's got it. Mm -hmm. I think. Center to center. What do you think? I trust you. Let's go center here. Let's remove this. The center there. Yeah, you've got line. As long as it's within your range. Are we sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks like it's going right on the corner. All right. Okay, so you're going to target this one? Yep. Shape one, change. two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Fails. That is a valid target. Okay then. So it's an 11 on your 17. I need a, or actually, I need a. It's a 12 because of the range combat expert. Yep. I need a five. That's only a four. Oh my gosh. Brutal. The okay. Dice. dice are just warming up. All right. So let's leave that the way it is. Um, uh, let's see. What else can I do here? Okay, so both of my Aaron Davises have a range of four on their ranged attacks. Okay. So I can get both Mary Jane and Gwen Stacy. All right, so which one's going first? So Aaron, this one is going to go... Oh, he's got Perplex, so I'm going to Perplex up my uh, attack. Okay, so I am just going to let you know. Yep. Mary Jane has shape change. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. So uh, Aaron Davis, let's see... Um, yeah, he'll perplex up his attack to 11. He'll okay. target Mary Jane, so I'll okay. let you go with your shape change. That fails. So I, so you have, you're in hindering and you have energy shield deflection. Yeah, so I'm a 20. So I'm an 11, 11 on your 20. So you need a nut. That's only an 8. Bummer. Aaron Davis takes a token. My other Aaron Davis, he will perplex up his attack as well. Okay. And I believe, so that would make him an 11. And he's going to attack Gwen Stacy? Yeah. So she is a 18 because she's in hindering super senses. Okay. So I need a 7. It's only oh 3. Oh my gosh. Okay. Going to swap out these dice. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And next, what we're going to do is um, we're going to generate some smoke clouds from our friend Daniel Burkhart. Okay. Minimum range 6, right? Mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'll, he'll lay down some smokes here, right across the line. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can't go any further than that. So I'll just 
do that. And then this guy, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll put some smoke over here. Yep. Just to get some cover down. It's too bad hindering doesn't matter for movement anymore. <laughs> well. Because I can just go right through it. It's good. Yeah, I know. But yep. at least if you're going to try any range attacks, then yep. you are stopped. So Daniel Burkhart will each take a token for that. Okay. And then I'm going to clear Norman Osborne, and okay. I'm going to clear this Eddie Brock, and the turn is yours. Okay. Well, I've got some willpowers. Yep. So my Harry Osborns both have willpower, so we'll roll for this one first. That succeeds. Token goes away. Uh, we'll roll for this one. That one fails. Okay, and then Flash Thompson has willpower, so we'll willpower this Flash. That fails, and this one that one succeeds. Okay. So there we go. Half of my willpower succeeded. Nicely done. Okay. So now what else do I have? So um, I think what we're going to do, I'm trying to decide if I want to equip that dimensional watch on Gwen Stacy. Mm -hmm. I probably should do that. So let's take a power action and equip the dimensional watch on Gwen Stacy. Okay. So Gwen now has the watch. That gives her phasing teleport. Um, yeah, probably should just gives her phasing there. teleport, right? Yeah, and then when she hits, if no character's been placed this turn after resolutions, I can roll a d6, and on a three through a six, I can place another friendly character. Oh, really? Yeah, with friendly the Spider Man keyword adjacent to her. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Okay, that's pretty neat. so that's the first thing. Um, next thing was let's see, so we've got a range of four. One, two, three. Well, you, we're on the same level, so I would have. You were on the same elevation. Yep. My only question is, do I want to do that? Because I'm thinking what I want to do is do something different. All right. So I think what we're gonna do is we're going to sidestep, um, and then we're gonna go one, two. I can't get next to everybody. I can only really get next to one person. Well, we'll go here, three, mm -hmm. for that move, because he's got plasticity. Flash Thompson does? Yep. yep. And poison. Oh, wonderful. Um, That's okay. I want you to KO my people so that I can bring yep. in my ultimate now, identities. Now, poison won't help against your Eddie Brocks because they have toughness. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering if I should not do that with them. Maybe what I'll do with this one is I will sidestep. Yep. And then make a ranged attack on this guy. Sounds like a good plan. Right? Let's do that. So we are a 10 on your 17 toughness with 2 damage. Yep. So I need a 7. That's a 7. That is a 7. 2 exactly. damage on this Eddie Brock. Okay. 2 damage. Uh, toughness reduces it. Yep. 1 click of damage. There we go. Okay. So that one is done. Um, so now we want to do something with Mary Jane. Okay. I think we should generate some paparazzi is what you say. Let's do it. So paparazzi generation says, power, if there are no friendly bystanders named paparazzi on the mat, roll a d6. Generate a number of paparazzi bystanders equal to half the result in unoccupied squares within four squares. And they have sidestep and incapacitate. All right. So let's do that. So Mary Jane will take a power action. So how many paparazzi tokens do you actually have? One. Oh. Um, there's only one on them. But what I'm going to do is I'm using the Spider-Man and Venom tokens. Yep. And then, so that's the paparazzi one, and then I'll put them on this side. Okay. So we know they're paparazzi. Sure, sounds if good. If I generate more than one. Yep. Okay, so let's see how many we can generate. Okay. Two. All Two right. paparazzis within four squares. So let's go... One, two, there's a three. Yep. And... I'm putting them all up into my face. Yeah, because then you can't do ranged attacks. Um, one, where's my, where are we here? One, two, three, four. There's two paparazzis. Okay. I mean, I guess those people have double tokens, so. Yep. All right, so there's paparazzis. Mary Jane took an action for that. Now, who else do I want to do things? I think 
You want to use one of my paparazzi counters? Sure, if you want. Go for it. Take that one. This paparazzi. Thank yep. You. That way we have the stats right in front of us. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Okay. So I think I'm just going to clear everyone else. So Peter Parker will clear. This Peter Parker will clear. Okay. This Harry will clear. And that's it. Right? Okay. Because everyone else took an action. One, two, three, four. Yep. Sounds good. Beginning of my turn, these smoke clouds come down. Yeah. So I will remove those. And I got a lot of tokens on my people, so I might not be doing a whole lot this turn. That's kind of why I didn't want to do too much on my turn. Yeah. Although, in hindsight, I probably should have moved some people around. Right. Because they've got objects and... Um, okay, so smoke comes down. I'm switching over my dice, because <laughs> those ones are cold. Uh, Harry Osborne has leadership. I'm going to roll it. Okay. That does not succeed. And let's see. This Eddie Brock can do something. Everyone Norm else. Norman Osborne sorry, Norm leadership? Yeah, Norman Osborne. Okay. Who did I say? Harry, Harry Osborne. Sorry. Yeah. Norman. And Eddie. Um, they're the only characters that can take tokens this turn. So, how about this Eddie Brock? I'm going to do a ranged attack on your flash. Okay, so I will shape change. Okay. Succeeds. Oh my goodness. Well, that eats up an action token. And, uh, let's see. Um, what can Norman do? He's Not got a much. range of four, but he can't really see anything from where he is. True. He can move. One, two, three, four, he can't do that. He could move, and that's about it. Yeah. So, uh, I could move adjacent to that paparazzi. Why don't I do that? Let's just move here. Okay. And... Jason Massendale does have sidestep traded. I'm going to attempt a sidestep breakaway from Flash. Okay. He's got plasticity, so you need a Ooh. six. Is that a six with the new rules? Yeah. Okay. A three won't do it. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's a six. Look, a, th a three won't do it anyway because it's a four to a six. But yeah. plasticity says, yeah, adjacent opposing characters that can't use phasing teleport Plasticity, Leap, Climb, or Hypersonic only break away on a 6. Okay. So, um, Aaron Davis is going to perplex this paparazzi down, his attack value down. Okay. Okay. This Aaron Davis will also do that. All right. And then these guys will clear. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot. Norman Osborne has Outwit. So I need to Outwit something. Would you like to Outwit um, Incapacitate on the paparazzi? Maybe. Yeah. The Daniel Burkharts will perplex their own defense up. Mm -hmm. And yes, Norman will outwit incapacitate. And what about the Aaron Davises? What, perplex? Yeah. Um, oh, right. Like the, So you outwitted... Incapacitate. You so perplex up, down. I will perplex up, actually, his defense. You want to perplex up instead of perplexing down? I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to perplex the okay. paparazzi at all. I'm going to perplex up Aaron Davis's defense. Okay. Um... And actually, he's going to perplex up Norman's defense. That's what he's going to do. What is this one doing? Because he's got stealth. Yeah. Right? And this one is going to perplex the attack of that paparazzi down. Down? Yeah, down to nine. You don't want to make it 11? <laughs> I don't. Why do you ask? Well, isn't the whole point of this is that is that you're trying to get your people KO'd so you can bring your secret identities in? It is, but... <laughs> <laughs> you can't do any damage with paparazzi. All you can do is incapacitate. That's so true. I may as well just put the attack down. All right. Over to you. Okay, willpowers. Flash Thompson has willpower. Yeah. That one fails. This Flash Thompson also has willpower. That one also fails. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let's start with poison. We'll okay. Poison Jason Massendale. All right. Sounds good. Can I avoid that with super senses? No. no. I'm just kidding. He doesn't have it anyway. So he takes a point of damage. Yeah. Okay, now he's got combat reflexes. And uh, range well, combat. that's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, I have plasticity, so I could break away sidestep. Yeah. Um, well, you've got combat reflexes. I have close combat expert. Yeah. So I could just attack you. So you're an 18. Yeah. I would be an 11 on your 18 with 3 damage. Yeah. 
Let's do that. Do it. So this Flash Thompson is going to take a token. Okay. Let's do a close combat attack. So 11 on your 18. Yep. That's a five. That won't do it. Okay. And unfortunately, I'm not on the rim, so Peter can't see me. Right. For probability. For probability control. You should have sidestepped and let Lee climb. Then you could have done it. I should have, but I didn't. Yeah. Okay, that one missed. That's all right. Okay, so now this paparazzi has no incapacitate. Correct. This one has a nine attack. That's correct. Okay. With incapacitate. Nine on 17. Yep. On a close attack. Yep. Let's try it. Kay. It's autonomous. Nine on 17, so I need a eight. That's a six. Okay. So that didn't work. All right. Uh, Peter Parker, this Peter Parker, needs to get in on the action here. So he's going to move. And he's, he's got, got leap climb. He's got right? leap climb, so he can move through whoever he wants. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He'll come up here. Okay. We'll bring this guy over here. He'll say, Gwen Stacy, you seem to be doing just fine. So we'll leave you there. Nice. You've got your dimensional watch. Okay. Okay. So that's that. Um, and then this Harry, I need to get him in. And this Peter. Um, so let's get the Harrys in. All right. Where do I want to bring them? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's as far as I can get. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll go up here next to Aaron Davis. Oh, okay. And this Harry. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's as far as I can get. Yeah. Uh, well, you can't do a ranged attack because you're adjacent to someone. You can't that's do a ranged right. attack because you're adjacent to someone, so that's fine. We'll go there. Yep. And Peter Parker, I'm just going to leap climb him up here. Yep. Um, Looks good. Is that how far? Hang on. I just want to check my distance. He would have to have his own range to prob, right? Is that right? Uh, well, yes, he would have to. It's not minimum six. It would be based on his own range. What does probability control say? No, it is. It's minimum six. Yeah, minimum like six. Outwit? Yeah, minimum yeah. six. Okay, so he can be within six. Yeah. So he can go. Um, Unless his range is higher, right? Yeah. But his range is lower. So his range is lower. Okay, so I think that's it. So this flash will clear. Mary Jane will clear. Gwen Stacy will clear. Mm -hmm. And that flash did an attack. Everyone else did a thing. Okay. Turn to you. All right, then. Let's start swinging. Let's do this. Um, okay, so Mr. Norman Osborne is right beside that paparazzi. Mm -hmm. Oh, first of all, He's got leadership. I don't think I have a token to take off, but let's do it anyway. That's always when it succeeds. That's always when it, exactly. Yeah. So first and foremost, let's, um, Norman Osborn will attack the paparazzi. Okay. So it'll be a 10 on a 15. Okay. I don't think the paparazzi has anything, but I'm just going to double check. Nope. I rolled a nine, so that should pretty much obliterate your yep. paparazzi. Paparazzi is dead. Cool. Now... Norman has outwit. Who can we outwit? Um, let's outwit Mary Jane's energy shield deflection. Okay. And Aaron Davis will perplex up, sorry, perplex down Mary Jane's defense to 16. Okay. And Aaron Davis will make a ranged attack. Shape change. Shape change, yep. Fail. Okay, so I need a six to hit Mary Jane. Okay. Okay. 
How about a 10? So that will do two points to Mary Jane from Aaron Davis. Okay, I'm just checking. And yeah, I messed up. What did you mess up? Well, I didn't leave any of my Peters on the rim. Oh, to, yeah. To the prob. I got this Peter up here. Yeah. This Peter's over here. Oh, well. Okay, so how many? Two points. Two points. Does she have something else? I think she has something else. Yep, check her card. Nope. No? Okay. One, two? Yep. Okay. All right. We're getting closer to uh, KOing somebody <laughs> for, a, for a secret identity swap. Okay, now, next up, we've got Aaron Davis over here. Mm -hmm. He's got a paparazzi beside him. Yeah. Um, but he's got Norman, or Harry Osborne right beside him. Yeah. So how about Aaron Davis is going to perplex down Harry's defense okay. to so 16. To 16. And Aaron Davis will do a close attack. Okay. So I need a 6 to hit Harry. That's a 9 for 2 points of damage. Um, yep, Harry that's what I can do about that. Okay. Harry doesn't have anything. Two points? Yep. Okay. And then, um, Daniel Burkhart. How about we just move him in besides the, beside the paparazzi, I think. Okay. I think we're going to do that. Or should we move up to Harry? Hmm. One, two... Uh, let's move him. Actually, I'm going to move him up. I'm going to get right into uh, Harry Osborne's face here. I'm going to move him right here. Okay. That takes a token. Mm -hmm. So these guys have gone. These guys have gone. Mm -hmm. And this other Daniel Burkhart has not gone yet. So how about... Let's bring him into the battle. Let's move him right here. Up to Harry. Okay. And then let's look at what's going on up on the rooftop over here. What do you say? Well, Peter, let's see. We've got an Eddie Brock here that can do something. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look. Okay. All right. These guys are tokened up. Yeah. This Eddie. Yeah, let's do a t an attack then. On Peter Parker? First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt a sidestep breakaway. Okay. Does Peter have anything that will slow down my breakaway? No. Oh, okay. Oh, he has leap climb. I don't think that impacts it at all, does it? Um, Under new rules? No. Let's verify. Improve movement. No. It affects Peter, yep. but it doesn't affect Eddie. Okay. So just regular breakaway. Yeah. Okay. That's fail. only a one. That's a fail. Okay, we'll make it a close attack. It's a precision strike. Okay. So we'll do a 10 on your 17. So Peter Parker has super senses? Yep. Okay. I need a seven. Yeah. That's an exactly a seven. Okay, now you've got precision strike, so my super the, my super senses rule, I think, can't be reduced. There has to be a six, right? I believe so. It's got a minus one. So that's a, yeah, that would yeah. be a six. So I need a six on my super senses. That's a two. Okay. Eddie Brock deals two points of damage. All right. Two points. Oh, I have prob. Oh. But I should have done that before I super sensed. No, you can still do it. But I should have done it first. You should have, but, but it's okay. Let's wreck on it. No, it's okay. You sure? Yeah, it's too All late. Right. Two points? Two points. Okay. And this Eddie will clear. Jason Massendale will clear. I'm um, just thinking if I should maybe do a sidestep. No, I'm going to keep Eddie Brock right there. Okay. And that, I believe, is my turn. Do you see anything else that I could have done? I don't think so. Um, okay. All right. Looks good. So let's willpower on this Flash Thompson here. Okay. Succeeds. And let's willpower on oh that flash pad thompson doesn't need to willpower because he doesn't have a token um somebody else has willpower where's my other willpowers mary jane no she doesn't have any tokens uh, harry osborne harry osborne that, only that one we'll do this one the other guy got damaged so that does not succeed 
Okay, so that's the will powers. Um, now we should poison. Let's poison uh, Jason Massendale here. Okay. Let's take a click of damage. Is he dead yet? No. Oh, bummer. He must be on his last click. Um, you are correct. He was on his last click. Okay. We are going to start with this Peter Parker. Okay. He is going to outwit your toughness on Eddie Brock. Okay. And then he is going to make a close attack with the object. So it'll be a 10 on a 17 for two damage. Sounds awesome. So I need a seven. That's only a six. Okay. I don't have prob anymore. So that is a miss. And the object goes away. Okay. Um, this Flash Thompson has close combat expert. Mm -hmm. So we'll go on Jason Massendale. So 11 on your 18, because that's combat reflexes, right? That's right. Yeah, combat reflexes. So I need a 7. That's a 4. Only a 4. You know, when you point for me where to <laughs> roll the dice, they don't roll well. I know. So Just wanted to be on camera. All right, so that's those guys. Um, oh, this Peter. Probability. Can prob that. Do it. Yep. We can do that, right? Yep. So 11 on the 18. Nope, still a 4. Wow. Different type of 4. I think it's four. time for you to swap your dice out. Different type of 4, but a 4. Here, give me those dice. I'll chuck them for you. No. <laughs> um, okay, this Eddie Brock can make a ranged attack on this Eddie Brock. Yep. So we'll do that. That is a 10 on a 17. Okay. So I need a 7. That's a Look four. at that. It's consistently rolling 4s. Chuck okay. those dice, seriously. Not, not happening. <laughs> okay, right, what's next? so... Um, let's use Gwen. Gwen has charge exploit. Yep. So I think we should do that. What did Daniel Burkhart perplex last turn? His own defense? Or did he perplex down something? Oh, he perplexed Mary Jane down. Right, so he doesn't. Yep. His defense is as printed. That is correct. Okay. So we're gonna charge on Daniel Burkhart. Okay. One, two, three. Charge exploit. Nice. So that's penetrating, if it matters. Ten on a sixteen. There we go. Look at that. That'll hit for two points. Okay. Two points on Daniel Burkhart. Yeah. Let me just look at his card. Make sure there's no shenanigans going on. No. Okay. Um, okay, so two points, right? Yep. All right. Daniel Burkhart. Will he survive? He survived. Okay. Yep. Harry will attack him. 11 precision strike on your 15. Okay. So I need four. <laughs> there is a 10. Okay. Daniel Burkhart is KO'd. Yay. So, um, the object goes into the square, right? No, the object would, uh, yes. Or does it object, go adjacent? The object would get dropped into the square. Now, I'm going to bring in another character. Yeah. Um, he, does he keep the token or no? Does he keep the token? Yeah, because he had an action token on him. Yes, he would keep the token. He keeps the token? Yeah. Okay. So, I'll put the token there. Okay, so, Daniel Burkhart, I can bring in Jacko Lantern or Mysterio. I think for the purposes of a secret identity game, yeah, I think the new one would still be holding the object. Um, this is a good question, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not really a different person. It's just now I'm wearing my ma my magical costume. Right. Should we look that up? Let's look that up. Let's take a quick break. Yeah. We'll be right back in a second. Okay, so we're back, and uh, we did some looking up of the rules, Yeah. and this is what we found out. So, according to the current 2019 rulebook, which is the most comprehensive rulebook that's yep. out there right now, um, the action token will carry over, 
as right. well as a cost deduction or if the character had been carried this turn right um, the object would be dropped okay so short is object drops and you retain the action tokens yeah okay so what i've done is jason massendale was ko'd yeah and what i've chosen to bring in is our good friend mr mysterio so let's put him there okay okay and he comes in as we said before when we explained the uh the rules of secret and he comes in on click number nine so right now he's got stealth incapacitate mastermind and probability control okay okay so what's next for you um was that a hit from harry that was a hit from harry yeah okay all right so now i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the paparazzi since there's no pushing damage anymore right um did you perplex him did i perplex the paparazzi yeah i can't remember what um, he perplexed last turn. with that guy yes i did i perplexed his attack to down. a nine okay we'll do it anyway nine on 17 i need an eight okay. in, in cap on aaron Nope, that's a three. I'm telling you, gotta throw those dice away. They were they were good a minute ago. <laughs> sure. Uh, do I want to do anything with anyone else? Um, Mary Jane can't generate any paparazzi because there's one on the map. Mm-hmm. So that's fine. Um, I think. Oh, just for probing purposes, I think we are gonna move Peter to the rim. Okay. So he can see things. So we'll do a movement there. And that's going to be it for me. So, oh, Harry's got perplex. So he's going to perplex um, up his own defense. Did he not attack this turn? No. Okay. The yellows are this turn. I think he's got a zero attack value right now anyway. Harry? Harry has a one. His attack value? Oh, his attack value is a zero, yes. Yeah, I guess on that click he's got a zero. He can't yeah. do anything. But he's going to perplex up his defense to a yeah. 17. Did a thing, did a thing, did a thing. No action tokens. Did a thing, did a thing, did a thing, did a thing. Okay, that's All it. Right. Very cool. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. Um, I've got a Jason Massendale who's just right beside people. And I should probably get to try to get him out of there, right? He's got sidestep. Okay. Uh, plasticity. Yeah. So I need a six, right? Yeah. Okay. That's only a two, so that's not going to work. The good news is it was a sidestep. Yeah. Um, okay, then. Well, I'm going to try on this Eddie Brock to do a sidestep from mm -hmm. Peter Parker. Okay, that's a regular sidestep. That's a fail as well. Okay, no problem. Jason Massendale. He will just do Oh, a... you have leadership, don't you? Oh, yeah, from Norman Osborne. Thanks Which for the reminder. Should, should have happened first, but that's yep. okay. That's a success. Let's take a token off Aaron Davis. Yep. Okay, there we go. All right. Jason Massendale. Let's do a close attack on... Um, we're going to go Flash Thompson. He doesn't have a reducer, does he? Uh, no, but he has shape change. He has shape change. Okay, go for it. Fails. Okay. Nine on a 17. Yeah. 10. That is a 10. As I knock down all the things. All their people. That's okay. So, and that's also doubles, which means potential knockback. Uh, let's if see. If I want it. Flash Thompson. We did the shape change. He's got plasticity. Peter will prob it. He will prob it. Can he? Oh, yeah. He can see Jason Massadale. Yeah. Okay. Roll again. Still a hit. That's a nine. Yeah. Gotcha for one point of damage. One whole point? One whole point. Did I take him off poison, I hope? I don't think so. <laughs> no. He still got the poison? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, how about Eddie Brock over here? Mm -hmm. I think he will maybe do a ranged attack on that Flash Thompson. Okay. Shape change. Succeeds. Okay. I will select... Peter Parker? Peter Parker is the alternate target. Okay, so Peter Parker has... I think that's support, so he's just an 18. Support, 18. Peter Parker, does he have anything else? So, I have ranged combat. It's defend, sorry. Defend? Yeah, which means he should have been an 18, but you didn't hit him anyway. Yeah, I've got um, a 10 ranged combat expert, makes it an 11. Yep. I need a 7 to hit Peter Parker. That's a 9. Okay. 
That'll be for, two, well, three points of damage because of ranged combat expert, right? Okay. One, two. He's KO'd. Nice. So that means I get to bring somebody in. Yep. All right. Let's see who you're going to bring in. Okay. So we are going to bring in Mr. Spider-Man on the garbage can. So he's the super rare. Or is he the chase? He is the unique... Um, Number super rare. 54? Number 54. Okay. And when Spider-Man starts the game, an opponent generates a J. Jonah Jameson bystander anywhere on the map. But is he starting the game, or is he... This is considered he's starting the game. Oh, it's really? It's not the start of the game. Right. It's when Spider-Man starts the game. Okay. So you get to place J. Jonah. Wow. Because every uh, hero should have his own villain. Where do I place him? Anywhere on the map. Anywhere on the map. Wherever you would like. So, he's got sidestep and what's his special box power perplex but he can only target himself or opposing characters with the spider-man family keyword oh is that right and everyone on my team has spider-man family yeah okay why don't we put him I'll put right here okay right behind you sounds good he can go anywhere right yep he can go anywhere on the map okay so we have generated spider-man all right and it is back to you awesome okay now, we're done over here. Yeah. So how about we move over here? Norman Osborne's double tokened. Aaron Davis and Mysterio's double tokened. No. Actually, no, single token. Single token. There's an object underneath him. Okay, so he can still do something. Okay. So how about um, Mysterio will target both, because he can do two, two targets. Okay. Because he's got the double Thunderbolts. Yep. Um, and under the new rules, we can... Close attack, multiple targets. Yep. I'm going to double target. I'm going to go for Harry and Gwen. Harry and Gwen. Okay. Looks like they're both a 17. Yeah, I'm just checking here. Gwen's a 17 super senses. Yep. And Harry's a 17. And my attack is a 10. So I would need a 7. Yep. That's a 4. He does have probability control. Okay. He's going to prob himself. That's an 11. Do you have any 11, props? Eh? Um, I this, think you this used Peter that already. This Peter already probed, and the other Peter can't see anybody because okay. he's been dead. Now, Gwen has super, super senses. senses. Yeah. So if I... Do I have to declare where my damage is going first? Uh, or is it no. immediately after success? Super senses success? happens okay. before. Go for it. So super senses fails. Okay. Looks good. Well, how about we... Who are we going to knock out here? Not knock out, but assign damage to. How many damage do you have? It's two. Okay. So how about I put two damage onto Gwen, because she's right now she's rocking a damage of two. Okay. So I kind of want to get rid of her. Two exploit. One. Yeah. Two. So there we go. Mysterio gets a token. It's kind of weird. Is it? Yeah, because her trait is that opposing characters within four squares can't use super senses. So why would exploit even matter? I guess it would matter for like True invulnerability enough. or invincible or yeah yeah okay okay two on Gwen all right so Aaron Davis is then going to perplex Mary Jane's defense down to fifteen okay and then Aaron Davis will do a ranged attack so she's going to be a sixteen in hindering right so I need a six from Aaron Davis yep that's only a three bummer bummer indeed okay. So how about over here, um, I've got a Daniel Burkhart and an Aaron Davis. Okay, and Harry perplexed up his defense. Okay, so he's uh, a 17 right now? Yeah. All right, sounds good. Um, I'm going to, what's, he's only on, he's on click three, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Daniel Burkhart's going to take a swing. Okay. And... Let's see what he's got. He's only got a 9. He's got Perplex as well. So I'm a 17 defense right now. So Burkhart is going to Perplex the defense down. Okay. Back to a 16. To a 16. Aaron Davis is also going to Perplex it down. To a 15. To a 15. Okay. Bur so Burkhart only needs a 6. Okay. That's a 6. Okay. So one point of damage onto Harry Osborne. Okay. Still alive, eh? Still alive. Okay. How about we, um, he can't do much anyway. So you know what, Aaron Davis, ooh, if I take out that paparazzi, that means Mary Jane can generate more, mm -hmm. which is well annoying. Oh, 
J. Jonah Jameson can also perplex. Mm -hmm. So why don't we perplex that defense down even further? Okay. Forgot about that. Yeah, because he can target him. He's got the spider ant family keyword, and he's opposing. Yep. So Aaron Davis will attack, and now what do we got? We got basically a 14. A 14. I need a 4 from Aaron Davis. There's a 9. Okay, he's dead. Two points of damage. He only needed one. Okay. So that means we get to bring in a friend. Okay. And then I'm going to, uh, while you're selecting, I'm going to clear this Eddie Brock because he didn't do anything. Okay. All right. And Norman Osborn didn't do anything, did he? Mm, I don't think so. He's No, he didn't because he's yeah. double tokened. So, so let's clear Norman. We're bringing in Green Goblin. Awesome. Okay. Green Goblin, eh? Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. And I think I'm passing turn to you. All right. Let's do some willpowers. So Flash Thompson will roll willpower this one. Yep. That one fails. So this one will roll the willpower. That one fails. Uh, she doesn't have a token. Harry has willpower. That one fails. And I think that's all of my willpower-y things. I think so. Okay, so now we should poison. Okay. On to Jason Massendale. Yeah. I think that's going to take care of him. He is KO'd. Yay. All right, now, Jason Massendale. He can bring in, um, I've already brought in, oh no, I, brought, I can bring in Hobgoblin or Jack-O-Lantern. See, I'll, I can also bring in Jack-O-Lantern. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't bring in Jack-O-Lantern. I brought oh, in Green Goblin. Green Goblin. Yeah. Okay, my guy's confused. Yep. Okay. Um... Okay, so what I'm going to do is when with Jason Massendale, uh, he's KO'd, I'm going to bring in the Jack-O-Lantern. Um, and it says he may start the game with pumpkin bombs. Um, there he is. So, he has the pumpkin bombs. There he is. Nice. He is on the field. And what is your next move? Um, all right, this is my turn. Yeah. <laughs> So I rolled my willpower and I did my um, poison. Mm -hmm. That's where I left off, right? Yep. Okay. Um, two tokens on Spider-Man. So that doesn't help. I guess I could make an attack here. Let's try that. Okay. Let's try and get Eddie Brock again. All right. So 10 on your 17. Yep. Nope, that's a six. Do you want to uh, prob it? I'll prob it. Yeah. There we go. There that's you go. Ten. How many points? Uh, it is two points. Ooh, flash. And it's Ready. double, so I can knock back, right? One, two, you can knock back. If I knocked you back, you would go directly back here? Yes. I can't knock you here? I believe it's within a straight line from yeah. the attacker. Oh, sorry. Before you do that, yeah. I forgot. He's got shape change. Oh. My apologies. Hang on. Someone prevents shape change. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, it was. I'm trying to remember. Flash Thompson. Opposing character oh. within four squares can't use shape change. There we go, then. Yep. Okay. And there's a Flash Thompson right here. Yep. Yep. So, uh, do I want to knock you back? I might as well. Let's okay. knock you back. Now, there's new rules with knockback. It's a specific number. Yeah, in it the is. the new rules. Um knock back knock back and it doesn't do damage anymore does it no there's no knock back damage um why can't i find knock back i will consult the new rule book and knock back says um a character when a character's knocked back the attacking player places them up to three squares away from the character that hit them up to three squares away. Up to three squares. But it doesn't say which direction. No, it does not. And we've had that conversation before. So I know in the and past rules, you had to knock it back in the direction of the knockback. In a straight line. However, um, we won't know for sure until the comprehensive rule book is released. Okay, so we should follow what we know so far. Sure. So we'll, we will knock him back here, even though I really wanted to knock him back to here. So you can poison him? 
well, so I could poison him and I could use Spider-Man's super awesome ability, but that's okay. Uh, I can't do that this turn anyway. Spider-Man's super awesome ability. All right, so now we still have a paparazzi on the map. Okay, so Green Goblin. Oh, this is important. I should have done this already. Green Goblin is my first character that has a team ability that yeah. is not Spider-Man Family Wildcard copy. <laughs> okay. He has Sinister Syndicate. So all of my Spider-Man family have now declared that they are Sinister Syndicate. Okay. So what that means is that when this character attacks, you may replace its attack value with the printed attack value of an adjacent friendly character that can use this team ability. It has to be adjacent, though. Yes, it has to be adjacent. Yeah. So, but uh, that's a point of reference. So we are going to start with Green Goblin there. He's going to make an attack. Now, he has a thing. So he has... Precision strike, but may use it when attacking two plus characters. He has three bolts. He does. So he's going to be able to attack a close attack on both Daniel Burkhart and that's right uh, Aaron Davis. Mm -hmm. um, he also has outwit, I think. <clears throat> he has outwit. Yep. So what is worth outwitting on those folks? Well, Aaron Davis has toughness, so he could do that. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So we will outwit the toughness. And let me see what's traded. Um, ooh, Daniel Burkhart. What does he have traded? Um, nothing. So He must have something because he's got a, a trait symbol. Well, he does, but nothing that's... It just says opposing characters can't use stealth. Oh, okay. Within four squares. All right. And Aaron Davis's trait doesn't matter? It's Aaron just the Davis's identity? trait is just the secret identity. Yep. Okay. So we're going to target both of them with a close attack. Okay. We're going to outwit the toughness on Aaron Davis. Okay. And it's precision strike. All right. So it is a 10 on your 17 and 16. That is a 5, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I don't have any prob left, so that's just a miss. Okay. Well, that's sad. Uh, let's see. Told you to chuck those dice. <laughs> Paparazzi, so you're going to try and break away sidestep. Okay. Succeed. Um, one, two. Yep. We'll do that. And then Mary Jane can't really do anything right now. Gwen Stacy. Oh, that would be good. She's going to sidestep. She has to break away from Mysterio. All right. Mm-hmm. Breakaway sidestep. That fails. Okay, so then that's not going to happen. Uh, do, 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 do. I think that's all I can do. He attacked, right? He did. He should have he a did. token. Yep. Forgot to give him a token. Okay, uh, I think that's all we're going to do then. The breakaway sidestep didn't work. I guess I could try and hit Mysterio. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a. Oh, he's only a 16. Yep. Let's do it. With Mastermind. Who's going to do that? Gwen? Gwen. Okay. Nine on a 16. I need a seven. That is a nine. Okay. I don't believe I used my prob yet, did I? You did not. Okay. So I'll prob that. Okay. That is an eight. Okay. What's the damage? It is one damage. All right. Um, let me see. Oh, does he... It says adjacent friendly characters. Can use shape change, but he's not adjacent to himself, right? That's right. Um, okay. Well, I mean, you're next to Aaron Davis, and Aaron Davis has toughness, so if you masterminded it, nothing would happen. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to mastermind that. Okay. So, the damage goes to Aaron Davis and just gets absorbed. Okay. So, Flash Thompson will clear. Spider-Man will clear. Mm-hmm. Uh, he did a thing. Peter Parker will clear. Harry will clear. Oops. As I break things. She did a thing. Paparazzi will clear. Yep. And that is everybody. Okay. Turn to you. Okay. Sounds good. One thing I did forget to tell you, Jocelyn, was that Mysterio, he, it says he may start the game with the Illusion Generator equipped. At no cost? At no cost. And he so. gets to start the game with it. Yeah, which means he had a shape... That gave him a shape change roll on that last attack, um, which I forgot. 
no, which is he's within, which is fine. With, he's, he's within four squares of Flash Thompson. Oh, does that have to be? Is that? Um, it's not within line of fire. There's no line of fire on that. No. Okay, fair enough then. But anyway, in future he does have that. Okay. As long as I'm not, you know, close to Flash, I guess. Okay. I guess I gotta get rid of these Flash Thompsons. They're kind of annoying, aren't they? I like them. <laughs> I know you like them. <laughs> and we like them too. So um, let's see. Leadership. Leadership from Norman Osborn. That is only a four. That's not going to cut it. All right, so what am I doing first, Jocelyn? What's my first Do you have any willpower? Move? I don't think I have any willpower. You don't have a lot to do. You got a lot of people with two tokens on them. No. Yeah. Well, let's see. I can do my two Eddie Brocks. Mm -hmm. I can do Jack-O-Lantern. Yeah. I can do Norman, and I can do that Aaron Davis. Okay. So why don't we just move right down the line like that? All right. Let's do it. Okay. So, um, Eddie Brock has a special power. What has he got? He's got Empower. But that's not gonna really going to help him. So, how about this Eddie Brock, which is closest to Spider-Man? That will help against Spider-Man. That will. So, first, why don't we get Jack-O-Lantern to maybe take a punch at somebody. So, let's see. Spider-Man is an 18 defense. Flash Thompson is a 17. I think I want to get rid of Flash because actually Spider-Man's got super senses, but Flash has shape change, right? Uh, Spider-Man has super senses and Flash has shape change. So how about Jack-O-Lantern? We're going to do a close attack on Flash Thompson here. Okay, so we'll shape change. Yep, go for it. That fails. Okay, so I'm going to be a 10 on Flash Thompson's 17. Okay, so he's 7. Yep, let me just check Jack O'Lantern's card. I want to see if there's anything special that I should be using. Uh, no, he doesn't have. Doesn't have that. Okay. Um, okay. I need a seven. There's a nine. Okay. Uh, Peter Parker will prob it. Peter Parker probs it. Some alliteration there. Okay, you've successfully probed it. Woo way to go I'm happy all right then um, well let's start in with the Eddies okay this Eddie's got precision strike yep he will attack spider-man okay it's gonna be a 10 on an 18 yep needs an 8 that's, that's only a seven. a 7 all right it's too bad because I had an empower next to it yeah does empower it only gives him damage right that's right yeah. Plus one to damage. All right, then. So then this Eddie Brock, he will make a ranged attack on that flash. Okay. Shape change? Yep. Fails that time. Okay. Nine out of 17. I need an eight. That's only a four. That's half of an eight. Yep. Do you want to prob it? Just kidding. No, I already probed. True. Okay, so those are those, are those guys. They've let me down horribly. Mm-hmm. Um... Let's see. Norman Osborn can do a ranged attack. Who does he want to attack? He can... Um, you can see Mary Jane. I can see Mary Jane. Yeah, she generates those tokens. I don't like that. And he can see Harry. Yeah. He's got direct line on Harry. He does. He also has outwit. So is there anything worth outwitting? No. Nothing worth outwitting, is there? Not really. Okay. All right then, so I could KO, I could try to KO Mary Jane or I could try to KO Harry. Hmm. How about we go for, Mary Jane generates those paparazzis and those are annoying, so okay. let's go for that. Okay, Mary Jane, you're good. Okay, I'm going to, um, you know what, I think before I do that with Norman, actually I think I'm going to use Aaron Davis. Okay. To do a ranged attack on Mary Jane. Okay. He's going to use his perplex to take her defense to 15. But she's in hindering. She's in hindering, so it's still a 16. Yeah. I need a 6 from Aaron Davis. That's a 7 for 2 points of damage. Just double checking. Yeah, she lost her shape change. Okay. So, Mary Jane is KO'd. Cool. Which means no more paparazzis. Yep. However, we get to bring in a friend. Yep. So, Mary Jane can bring in a 
So Mary Jane is bringing in Iron Man. Nice. Okay. All right. So there you go. Looks good. Okay, so um, I did that because Aaron Davis would not have been able to get an attack off on anyone else over here. Right. So he took care of that. Now Norman Osborn. Ooh, maybe I should keep going. I should do a ranged attack on Iron Man then. Well, she's got invulnerable. Yeah, but I can outwit that. What else does she have? Is there anything traded on Iron Man? Uh, targets are hindering. Okay. It's not traded. This is the thing. All right. Um, and when she hits with a ranged attack after resolutions, each hit target is knocked back four squares. Okay. So I just got perplex and sidestep. So question: Because Aaron Davis already perplexed down the defense, does it does it apply to the Iron Man? I think so because everything else applied, right? It's yeah, replaced. Let's do it. It's replaced, right? Sure. So it's a seventeen. Well, it's in hindering, so it's yeah. an eighteen. Yeah. And then Norman will outwit the invulnerability. The invulnerability. Okay. And I will make an attack. It's going to be a 10 on an 18 okay. from Norman. I need an 8. That's only a 6. Bummer. Um, and Mysterio cannot see that for perplexing purposes. For probing purposes? Probing purposes. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Got my peas mixed up. Okay. Um, that's that then. So let's come over to those guys can't do anything because yeah. they're tokened up. And how about J. Jonah? How about J. Jonah just... Um, can he perplex... Yeah, he can see Green Goblin, right? Mm -hmm. He's got a direct line. I think so. So I'm going to perplex Green Goblin's attack down. Okay. And then he's just going to stay there. Um, you can't perplex Green Goblin. Oh, really? Because Green Goblin does not have the Spider-Man family keyword. Oh, okay. So J. Jonah can only perplex... Uh, himself or characters with the spy opposing characters with the spider-man family keyword okay so does this iron man have it um yes i will perplex down that iron man's attack value okay okay mm -hmm. then i'm going to play the clearing game so we've attacked with all of these people including this including this except mysterio yep let's clear mysterio oh there was a token under him let's put that back and Aaron Davis clears. Give me an object. Object, that's what I meant. And, okay. I've cleared my people. And it is now your turn. All right, we're going to roll willpower on Flash here. All right. That succeeds. So that's good news. Um, no token there on the willpower. No token there on the willpower. Okay, so that's all the willpowering. All right. So I think we're probably going to start over here with Mr. Spider-Man. He's an 11. Now, his special power is that when he makes a close attack, he instead targets all adjacent opposing characters. Nice. There's only two right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and he has outwit. So... Oh, I forgot to do one thing. Go for it. I am sorry. Um, Jack O' Lantern can actually, he's got a hallucinogenic pumpkin bomb. Smoke Cloud is free, but only to generate three markers. So, when an opposing character occupying one of Jack O' Lantern's smoke markers makes an attack, characters they would target can use Shape Change. But they wouldn't be able to because of Flash Thompson. Right. This is true. Okay. You still want to build the smoke cloud? So so does that does that not uh Okay, so so you're saying flashes would trump it essentially. Yeah, can't beats can. Yeah. Okay. Um but smoke cloud would give me minus 1 on my attack if you generate it. It would. Yeah. Or I could say I could generate them down here cuz he's on the edge. You'd have to generate them with Within, at least one of them has to be within range. Yeah, he's got a range of six. Okay. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. That's as far as you can go. Right. But I only one yeah, has to be. The others have to be adjacent. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's see here. Um, <laughs> let's 
Let's do it here, mm -hmm. here, and in Green Goblin Square. Okay. There you go. You got me my minus one after all. Yep. So there we go. Generated that over there. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. I forgot to do that. Okay. No problem. So Spider-Man has outwit. Um, we're going to outwit... Toughness on Jack-O-Lantern. Sounds good. And then Flash Thompson's going to poison. Poison Jack-O-Lantern. Yeah. Good, good choice. All right. And now Spider-Man's going to make his attack. On Jack-O-Lantern? Well, he targets all adjacent opposing oh, yeah, characters. Oh, yeah, right. So he's an 11 on a 16 and a 17. Gotcha. Okay. So a 6 hits both of them. Okay. That's a 4. Yep. Those dice like rolling fours. Um, Peter Parker can't see me. So that's it. Yeah. All right. So um, since the toughness is outwitted on Jack-O-Lantern, Flash Thompson will make a close combat. Sounds good. 11 on your 16. Yep. <sighs> it's only a three. It's only a three. I can see oh, that one man. for probing. You can. Oh, crit miss. <laughs> I have theme prop, but I haven't been using that. Can you theme prop a crit miss? You can. Yes, you can theme prop a crit miss. Um, so Flash will take the prop. Yep. There we go. That's a hit. All right. That's two points. Uh, three, because it's close combat. Oh, right. I think you just knocked out Jack-O-Lantern. One, two. Yeah, you KO Jack-O-Lantern. Well done. So, so I've now scored Jason Massendale plus 25 points, right? Plus 25, that is correct. Okay, so at least something happened. Now, he started with the pumpkin bombs. Does that mean you score the bombs, too? I don't uh, think what so. What happens with the bombs? It should tell you what happens when they're unequipped. Okay, let's see. It should say it right on top. KO this object. There you go. Yep. So it's KO'd. All right, then. Okay, so... So you are first on the board, and you have... Jason Massendale's worth 25 plus 25 for the jack-o'-lantern. So you're at 50 points. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Um, now we need to take care of Mysterio, I think. All right. So the problem is Mysterio has that silly old mastermind. Yeah. I have a new I don't, plan. I don't think it's silly, but you know. I have a new plan. A new plan, eh? Yeah. Iron Man yeah. is going to sidestep okay. to here. From here, I should be able to see Mysterio. Yes. And then I can see Aaron Davis, and I can see Norman Osborn. Yep. Okay. That doesn't help me with the masterminding, though. <coughs> Iron Man only has one damage. On click nine? Yeah. That's it? They can only take one point of damage? Well, oh, like, you mean they only deliver one yeah. point of damage? Gotcha. You, you can't um, perplex damage anymore. No, you can't. Right? Okay, so let's look at her attack. What is her attack magic? So her attack magic is... When Iron Man hits with a ranged attack, after resolutions, each hit target is knocked back four squares. Okay. Do I want to do that? Because knocking you back means you can make ranged attacks, but that's okay. You guys don't have, like, ranged combat expert or anything. Mm -hmm. All right, so we will target Mysterio. Yep. And we will target Norman Osborn. Okay. Okay. With ranged attacks. Ranged attacks. Everyone's within four of Flash Thompson, so if there's any shape change, that would not go off. Is that what the special attack power is on Iron Man, is the knockback thing? Yeah. Okay. So I am a 10 on 17 and a 10 on 16. Okay. So I need a 7 to hit them both. So that's a 7. Gotcha. Okay. Is there any super senses? Uh, is there any super senses? Good question. Um, I can't use shape change, of course. And Norman Osborn. Nope. We're, we're good. All right. Well, it was only one damage, so... I'll put it on Mysterio. Now remember, he's got Mastermind. I know, so does Norman Osborn. Oh yeah. So then Mysterio will put the damage onto Aaron Davis. Okay. Okay.
Okay, so... So you hit two targets, right? I did. Now, do you get to knock them back? Is um, that part of the thing? Yes, I do, get to hit, I do get to knock them back four. And now, it's hit targets, not targets that took damage. Yeah. So, so I'm going to do that. Okay, you're going to knock them both back? Yep. Okay. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Yeah. With Mysterio. Sounds good. And then Norman will go one, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. Right. So now Jack O' Lantern is not Jack O' Lantern. Green Goblin is occupying that smoke cloud, so he's minus one to his attack, right? Correct. And how did the shape change of it part of it work? Um, it says that um, any targeted characters can use shape change. Okay, and no one's within four of the flash there, so you'll be able to use shape change. That's right. So. Let's go ahead and outwit. Is that wit perplex on Aaron Davis? Sure, you don't want to get his toughness if you're going to make an attack. Are you? Are you going to make an attack? I don't know. Oh, I am. I didn't see that. That was toughness. Yeah. Well, outwit is toughness. Okay. Okay. So Green Goblin. What was his ability again? He had an ability. He said... So he can target three precision characters. Precision strike, yep. but may use it when attacking two plus characters. Yep. Okay. So it's precision strike if there's any super senses involved. All right. Sounds good. So I am... Oh, in, yeah. shape change first, right? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So uh, Daniel Burkhart's shape change. Success. Okay. Aaron Davis. Success. Uh, can I see Jay Jonah? Uh, I th yes, you can, because he just... Oh, right. He, he tried to attack me. He perplexed you. Okay, so he would get to shape change, I guess? Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Three successful shape changes. Well, that's the type of roll I usually have. Yeah, it is. All right. The paparazzi are going to try an in-cap on <laughs> okay. Jay Jonah. So he's a 17. I'm a 10. He was 7. That's an in-cap. Okay. Incapped. Got him. Okay. And. Harry has. Not Harry. Yeah, Harry. Harry has support, I think. Where'd Harry he go? does. He needs precision strike. He has support. So support says. Roll 2d6. If this character and the target aren't adjacent to any opposing characters, add this to the attack value. Heal. All right, let's try and heal. You know what I forgot to do? What? Oh, no, I didn't. I was going to say I forgot to do shape change on Mysterio again, but he's within... Yeah, he was within four. Four of Flash. Okay, Just Harry's going to take a action yep. to try and heal Gwen. Oh, nice. Okay. So I'm an 11 on her 16, so I need a five. That's a four. Those dice, they like rolling fours. They do like rolling fours. Well, that didn't work. Okay, and I guess Peter Parker, but he can't really see anyone. So that's fine. You could shoot your own Iron Man in the back, range three. That's okay. Okay. Um, did Iron Man perplex? I don't believe she did. I don't think so, yeah. She is going, oh, you have stealth on Aaron Davis. Yeah. So she'll perplex up. Um, she'll perplex up Harry's defense. Yep. Okay. And, okay. Oh, the Flash should probably sidestep in okay. preparation for next turn. All right. One, two, next to some Eddie Brocks. All right. Looks good. Okay, so, perplex up there. Okay, so took an action, took an action, did not take any actions. Oh, she could sidestep if she wanted now. Yep. She's going to do that. Okay. Um, actually, just there. Okay. He did a thing. She did a thing. He did not do a thing. Okay. Does he want to sidestep? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. That's me. All right. 
Okay, Jocelyn, I think that is all. We're almost at the 90 minute mark so far for this game. Mm -hmm. So how about we take a break and we come back in, for game number two to continue this epic battle. What do you think? I think that sounds like a great idea. Okay, so uh, viewers, let us know what you thought in the comments below. Um, and, and keep in mind, we understand that this may not follow all the rules with the amount of sideline characters we have for the point build. Right. But we're just trying to do something fun. I think we've overruled some of those sideline rules. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we're just trying to do a little fun theme here. Um, we're going to see how it goes. And I, we're just getting to the point now. We're starting to see some of our replacement characters come in. Which so, means action totals to a degree mean something. That's right. Especially for you because you've got three characters now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're, we're getting there. So let's come back for game number two. Yep. And let us know what you thought in the comments below. Don't forget to find us on Facebook, Dice Station Zebra, and Twitter at DS underscore Zebra. And please hit like and subscribe if you liked this video. That's right. Thanks for watching, and keep your eyes open for game number two, which will be out soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.